Hello everyone, Wompit here. So today, I'm going to talk about Shaquille Griffin. And I'm not going to talk about the other secondary members, just Shaquille Griffin. I would say last year he played all right. You know, he was average. I would say he was just average most of the year. Some games he looked great. Some others he didn't look good or elite. You know. But I think he does have potential still. Um, last year he changed position as well. He went from right cornerback to left cornerback. Um, okay. I think one thing that really helps out a cornerback is the defensive line. If your D-line can get pressure on the quarterback, it'll spook, usually spook the quarterback into making some not so great decisions. Obviously, some quarterbacks are better than others when they're under pressure, but it still helps to, you know, make a quarterback uncomfortable Last year, Frank Clark and Jaron Reed were really the only source of that. Puna Ford was a great run stuffer. And Dion Jordan wasn't great, you know. He had injury issues, and he was the main starter, pretty much. It was either him or Quentin Jefferson. Jefferson had an alright season, but, you know... The D-line as a whole wasn't the best. And I think that if they work as a unit, the D-line, it'll really help out the cornerbacks as a whole. So, you know, with a all right defensive line play pass rushing wise, where the pass rush would would get stalled completely. And that would do... And then, you know, cornerbacks have to stay on the receiver for a long time while the quarterback just sits in the pocket until he makes a decision. And it's pretty impossible to cover for that long, for a long time. Another reason... Shaquille Griffin also said he gained a little weight, making him slower, and he was focused on the wrong things. Meaning, you know, and he said he's focused on trying to get this many interceptions, this many pass deflections, yada yada. And I think that, you know, Losing some weight that he gained and trying to be a faster cornerback is good for him. But another really important thing that's being underlooked, I would say, is the fact that he admitted he was pretty much just an average cornerback. You know, he wasn't happy with how he played. The fact that he admit, admitted that and is like, I'm going to improve myself, lose some weight, try to be a better cornerback is what really matters, you know? Because if he's a guy who just said, oh, I played all right last year, I'm not going to improve, you know, nothing will change. And you want a teammate 
and a player like that who is admitting he didn't play that great and improve upon himself. And it's very, very great to see that, in my opinion. It's great to see, okay, yeah, I didn't have the greatest season. I'm going to try to lose some weight and improve myself, you know. And I think he has a good work ethic. And he said he's dieting now or trying to eat healthier. So I think we could see a better season of him in the third year. Kind of like how I fed he jumped and went from, you know, one of the weakest links on the offensive line to a solid tackle. So, I think Shaquille Griffin really has potential, and I think with improvements to the defensive line, um, or, you know, revamping it will kind of help him. I think also adding safety help as well, adding more depth to the safety position, more competition will help as well. And Pete Carroll is one of the best defensive backs coaches in the league. So I think Shaquille Griffin will have decent year next year. I'm not going to say he's going to be Richard Sherman, obviously, he's not. I'm going to say he will just play better. And it'll show, I think. Maybe I'm completely wrong. We'll see. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. See you later, and goodbye.